Hi, I'm Jeff Stomanks and I've got a garden driftwood on the south coast in Sussex. Many of you watching this will be familiar with my garden driftwood and the thousands of plants that I've got in the garden and open every year for the National Garden Scheme and other charities. But what many of you may not know is that I also have a passion for house plants and I've got over 120 plants throughout the house. So I'm stood here now in the back porch and you can see some plants behind me but I'm going to guide you through the house through the different rooms of the house and show you some of the plants that I've got. Some of them are quite special and some of them have got some sentimental value to them too. So I hope you enjoy the tour and I'll pick up with you at the end. We're going to start in the office which is the room I sit in most of the time looking out on the garden and the first plant of interest here is an oxalis palmifrons which has got these beautiful leaves and really architectural. Moving down there you can see a string of beads and there you've got an aloe corolla which has got these beautiful orange tinges to the edge of the uh, leaves there. There's a baby I took from it recently. These are cuttings from a uh, Christmas cacti that belonged to my grandparents in the 1960s. I've still got the original plant too. And there you've got a whale fin or Sansevieria via Victoria. Moving up there, there's another Sansevieria, a starfish. And at the top there, an Asplenium Leslie, which has got really lovely, delicate leaves. Now we're looking at a Monstera monkey leaf, which is a really nice plant. It reminds me of my childhood when cheese plants were all the rage. As we pan away there, you can see some other plants there. There's a rubber plant on the left there, some succulents at the bottom here as well. Moving up now to the desk, you've got a collection of plants from cacti and succulents and quite a lot of air plants as well. Main feature is this gorgeous Euphorbia obiso, which is hopefully going to flower next year. Beautiful plant, beautiful spherical shape. Another small baby aloe corolla there. And in the office also a small bonsai tree, a Chinese elm. And I've got these couple of cacti in these boots. In the ensuite bathroom, we've got this beautiful Chadascantia zebrina sprouting everywhere. And on the side, there's a shelf with these gorgeous baby cacti and this beautiful euphorbium. In the main bathroom, got some glass shelves with these bromeliads on the side there, which look really pretty against the black and white tiling. This one in particular has grown really well since we bought it about seven months ago. On the window ledge here, you've got another Sansevieria there, and in the middle there, this gorgeous Euphorbia lactea. Quite a special plant. We bought this on our last holiday with our baby dog Albert, and whenever I see this, it always reminds me of him. On the right there, you've got another lovely plant, a Syningia leucotricia, uh, which has these beautiful little orange flowers. You can see the new growth starting to come there at the base. Once the stems have died, I'll cut them off and new stems will come up with bright orange flowers again next year. We've had this plant over 20 years. Moving on then to the lounge, you've got this Jatropa padruga, which is a Guatemalan rhubarb. There's another beautiful euphorbia. And then hibiscus here, which I've had for about 20 years that my father bought for me. And down the bottom there, you've got a golden barrel cactus, which is quite impressive, along with another very tall cactus I'm not sure of the name of. This particular poinsettia was bought last year and I've managed to keep it all year. You can see it's just starting to go red, hopefully for Christmas this year. This is a plant bought for us in memory of our little dog Albert again who died last year, a beautiful little azalea. Over there in the dining room, not many plants, it's the coldest room of the house and one of the darkest. You've got this palm growing quite gracefully in one of these old containers there. And also you've got a small Christmas cacti that's flowering early there, looks very delicate and pretty. This is the back porch of the house. This doubles up as a partial greenhouse through the winter as I have to move some of my outdoor plants in here. Um, the, Aeoniums come in, this mandevilla there with just a single flower on, and then this beautiful, beautiful um, Brazilian fuchsia. You can just see the yellow flowers starting to form on it. This plant in the corner there, an umbrella plant, is probably one of the oldest plants that I've got. I acquired it in the mid 80s and it's still going strong, having generated some others. Spider plant there, other succulents, um, and old, part of an old cacti in the corner there, and again some aeoniums from the garden. In the front porch then again another collection of plants, many of them stay in here year round, this drachina here and also then again you have got a few aeoniums that have been brought in from the cold through the winter months and a few succulents. Another large spider plant I've had for a long time and a rubber plant I've had probably 30 years as well in a pot there on the shelf. Again more succulents that have come in from the garden uh, looking for some respite and more importantly brighten up the front porch through the winter months. 
I've got this small indoor garden here of cacti and these little Japanese figures here I've had since I was a child so they're over 60 years old and I reassembled them. Again another cacti, not sure of its name but it's just going absolutely bananas with this new growth and uh, works well and little orange flowers just starting to appear. And then another aloe here in the pot there on the shelf. Along the front window ledge there are eight or ten cacti in individual pots or succulents just to brighten up the pot and they look really good. Many of them start to flower as well through the summer months. Again the one on the left there I've had quite a long time um, but again quite nice to decorate the front porch which gets very very hot during the summer months. Okay I hope you've enjoyed my short tour of the house plants I've got here at Driftwood. I'm sure some of them will be plants that you'll be interested in and perhaps go and invest in yourself. Plants can be really enjoyable things to look after through the winter months and while during the summer I have to be honest I tend to forget about them because I'm focusing on the garden. It's this time of year through the winter months where they get some real attention and they're much appreciated to brighten up the house as well.